Bendigo, you can bet on the fights, you can bet on the boxing, the UFC, whatever you want. Michael Condurli says, Mike, did you ever have your right eye fixed? Feel bad for you. All right, here we go. I'll show you. So here's the eye. Boom. So there's the, uh, the prosthetic. There's the prosthetic eye there. And there's, as you can see, what the eye looks like without it. It looks beautiful, as you can see. So I had this eye. Uh, I used to wear these like weird contact lenses. And, and like, I'd put them on, but it just went more into the middle. It was like these lenses that used to be kind of off center. So try and make the eye look normal. Because as you saw a second ago, there's no, there's no pupil there anymore. So there was like a fake pupil and a fake eye. And it was off centered because my eye turns in now. I never used to, of course. Um, but um, I wore these contact lenses for ages and they were crap and they just always drift into the middle. So like when I worked at Fox Sports, hold on Joel Miller, I'll get to you. Um, I used to have like a little compact, a little makeup compact. And any time we went to commercial break, I'd always have the compact out and I was always straightening it. And then in the end, I was like, fuck this, I'm sick of it. And then of course, I'm trying to, I'm trying to work on an acting career. So I was, and I'm working on TV, commentary, Fox Sports, ESPN now. So going in there with one fucked up eye and being on TV, I got very self-conscious. So in the end, I said, I'm going to have a glass eye put in. I'm going to have the eyeball removed and have a glass eye. And I went to see a doctor and the doctor said, no, nah, you don't need to do that. We don't want to remove the eyeball unless it's causing pain. And uh, turns out all this time, there was a place down by my house, 10 minutes away for $3,500. They hand paint these and they make them for you. And it absolutely changed my life. Brought my confidence back. I look normal again, of course. But I still put it in and take it out every single night. Um, unless I've had a few bevies and then I might fall asleep with it in. But not very often. Not very often. All right. So, uh, John Jones, man. Somebody asked a moment ago about John Jones. What do I think of that? It's just... 